Hello. I know you're going to like this one. What if I could tell you, I could show you how to find that perfect buy-to-let property? My name's Jess. I am a landlord, an investor landlord. I'm also founder of ForTheLandlords.com. And ForTheLandlords.com, we're a letting agent. Uh, we manage you know, nearly a thousand properties now all across uh, the Midlands and the north of England. But we're also, we're famous for being the UK's number one property sourcer. We've bought over 1,200 individual buy-to-let properties for ourselves and for our landlord clients. We now manage those properties, but we found them, uh, sourced them, fixed them, rent them, and we manage them long term. So we've been in business for, for 10 years, so we know a thing or two. And I think that you know, finding that perfect buy-to-let, sourcing that for, for perfect buy-to-let, it's a question we get asked a lot, you know, how do you do it? I think it boils down to five things. Uh, the first thing is you've got to be able to unearth the opportunity. 99% um, of all houses that are for sale are for sale through estate agents. So most of the opportunity is through estate agents. You've got to just cultivate really good relationships. Um, you've got to be prepared to put the effort in. Um, wearing out your shoe leather, driving around. It's a full-time job. Our property sources, we have property sources out in the field in all the air, all the property hotspots in the UK. Um, it's a full-time job. It's not all sourcing. They've also got to manage renovations, do renovate, uh, renting, you know, get, the, get the whole job done. It's not just about renting, uh, renovating the house or finding the house. It's the whole package. But still, the just finding of it, um, it's taken up a lot of time. So a bit of persistence and, and getting in there. The second thing is you've got to understand property fundamentally. You know, what's it worth? Like an estate agent would. And then also the bricks and mortar of it, like a, like a builder would. So what's this thing worth? And also, what's it going to cost? What, what am I looking at? Like a surveyor or like a builder. You've got to have all of those things in your mind, in your head. And that's quite a skill set as well. And if you haven't got it, you're really, really going to struggle to know that you're paying the right price. The third thing, I think you've just got to be organised and persistent. It rarely goes right first time. And getting a property deal over the line quite often needs a persistence. It's, it's the only word I can use. You know, organising surveyors, dealing with solicitors, dealing with the other side, dealing with the vendor. Um, getting all those things all organised and overcoming the challenges and obstacles. You know, I can't buy it because of this report, but actually if I'd get this fixed or pay for that or get that person to sort this first, that will work. Or um, that looks like a challenge or a problem, but can I fix it with an indemnity policy or whatever? All those little things that you have to do to get the deal over the line, whereas most people don't. The classic example is we always get a property survey on our property to check the things standing up, but uh, it's got to be the right kind of survey. If you get a survey and it comes back and it's got loads of um, sort of you know, full on, on home buyers survey, you've got to be able to sort the wheat from the chaff. So that's not a problem because we're going to be fixing that anyway, or that really is a problem. Uh, and we've also got to be able to get it done quickly. You know, within a couple of days, we want a, a survey done within a couple of days because we've got to act quickly. Um, but we don't really paying too much money for it. Things like that, just being organised and being persistent. If I can organise a property survey for a couple of hundred pounds and get it done in two two days, I'm ahead of the pack who's going to, can't organise it very well. It's going to cost them a thousand pounds and it's going to take two weeks to do it. You can see how just that one little example, being organised, being prepared, is going to mean that I can buy the house two weeks earlier than my competitor. And it is a competitive market to buy. The fourth thing I've put there is, What's all thought about the fourth thing on our list is organizing a renovation. Uh, now, whether it's a little tickle up for compliance or a major renovation, you've got to be able to manage that to, to time, to cost, and to quality. And that's tricky. And most people fall down that. They don't like having those tough conversations with the builders. And the final thing is renting and managing the thing. It's actually the most important thing, isn't it? If you think about it, um, all the drama and high excitement of um, finding it renovating it comes to nothing for the next 20 years when you're just going to be renting the thing out and managing it. So I said this would appeal to you. Um, I've given you a little list there. There's five things on it. What if I said to you, we're going to run a webinar. If you click the link below, you can book on it and we'll show you how we do it. There's a little bit of an ulterior motive. I'll come on to that in a minute. There's no, no upsell, no side sell, no education, no pitch, nothing like that. But there's a little bit of an ulterior motive and you won't mind me for that anyway. Um, but I'm going to show you in the webinar 
what it takes to source that perfect buy to let. Click on the link, you can book yourself onto the webinar. If the time's gone, you'll be able to book on and see a, re a, a revamp of the webinar, a, a, a review. Uh, we won't be posting that for another month or so. It takes a while to do it, so don't not click on it if it's live now. Uh, get booked on for the webinar for the date because otherwise, you know, the, the, the time will be gone. If you're interested in it now, it's now. Otherwise, we'll be putting up the replay in a, in a month or so when it's all, all edited. They take a while to edit. But, you know, what, what does it take to source a buy-to-let? We'll show you it in the webinar. If it needs the renovation, how to manage it, we'll go through all those five bullet points. Um, we'll have a little case study in there, a live and dangerous case study. One of our property sources um, will be showing you before, during and after on a real live deal. You know, today, check the date on the on the video. Um, so you can see from the coal face what's going on. I said there's a little bit of an ulterior motive and you won't mind, and I promise we won't pitch in the webinar at all. We just we just don't, we're not that kind of company, but we are the UK's number one property sourcer. And I know that if we speak to, let's say a hundred people on a webinar, three or four of you are going to look at us and say, you know what you're doing. And you've done it a lot. And uh, I understand that a property source has got a value because, you know, I haven't got the time, the skill or the inclination. We don't charge, we charge fees for doing what we do, but it's not exorbitant. And when you look at it against the context of what we do, what we can do for you, and we can we can find and fix and rent that house for you, we can source and do the whole package. Plus, then we can look after it and manage it. We've got clients that we've taken from zero properties all the way through to 30 and 40. And they've got houses spread out all over the UK and we manage them all for them. That's quite a service. So I know that if we've got 100 people on the webinar, three or four of you will probably end up being the clients. It's not the point of the webinar. Come along, have a look. Um, but I'm sure we'll pick up some clients as well. And uh, you'll be very, very welcome either way. Just come and have a look, have a chat. It's always nice to do that. And if at the end of it, you decide to um, become one of our property sourcing clients, then it'll be down to you to click the link and book on. We won't put any pressure on you to do it. But uh, yeah, a little bit of an ulterior motive. So that, that's it for now. Click in the link below. And um, yeah, bye for now.